Uh, we've been developing Unicorn One as a as a uh, sort of test uh, satellite. We've we've got a variety of uh, uses for it. You know, we've uh, we've been working on ADSB for uh, plane uh, plane detection. Uh, we're working on an inter inter satellite link uh, to to link uh, the Unicorn One low Earth orbit to uh, the geostationary stuff. Uh, we, we we sort of gearing up, up towards uh, in orbit demonstration stuff, so actually testing components uh, in space. So uh, obviously the fact that Unicorn One is a small satellite, it's uh, you know it's, it's cheap to send it up compared to, to a much larger system. Uh, so you can actually justify you know sending up with with untested components. We can get uh, space heritage for those components. So, I mean, it's really for people who want to fly their thing in space for the first time um, and maybe they have a component, maybe they have a small board, um, maybe they have an application in mind and it's really just to get the experience of having something flown in space and the heritage. Uh, so if you're trying to raise more money, then having something in space is really useful to then go and build your constellation and it's really a stepping stone towards um, bigger, more ambitious uh, missions and eventually uh, people's constellations. So it's a really great way to sort of rapidly iterate in space and really try, try new things. I've been working on the software for Unicorn, uh, for Unicorn One. Um, we've got a variety of components to, to control. We've got to coordinate between radios. We've got um, uh, memory accessing to, to, to do. Um, we've got a variety of control um, items. You know, for current control and voltage control, just making sure the the power to the supplies are, are are doing what they should. Uh, so just coordinating all those components. <laughs> 